boy, we have really been on a journey with this pattern. Am I right? This is my second, although technically second and a half <laughs> new and improved, nonetheless, version of Simplicity 2147. You might remember my first version of this dress and then the subsequent uh, half of a make. <laughs> um, it was that pink one that I made out of the floral linen. Remember the bodice was ill-fitting, mostly in the arm side area. So I took the bodice off, <clears throat> made a whole bunch of adjustments with the help of my ditto form, and then sewed the, well, not even really the bodice, sewed the yoke back on to the skirt version, which is why it's kind of like a half version that I made. Um, the fit of that pink dress is pretty spot on now, albeit it's still a little bit short. So today I'm showing you how this pattern fits after making all the adjustments and lengthening it. You might also recognize the fabric as it's a tablecloth that uh, was originally sold at Target, but that I got for four bucks at my local Goodwill. I really scored that day on getting some uh, home decor type fabric that works really well for clothing. The quote unquote fabric for the tablecloth is 100% cotton. It has a little bit of texture to it, making me think it's like a dobby or something similar. Obviously it was super easy to work with being as that it's cotton. Also, it's a little bit more structured because it was, you know, a tablecloth and those aren't usually very drapey. So it was really easy to cut, really easy to sew, really easy to press. <laughs> it was kind of a dream to work with. I kept the original hem of the tablecloth and used that as the hem of the dress. So I had just one less thing to sew. But one final thing I might change about this pattern is the length. I will get it right eventually. So the original version is super short and that might be because I have like a larger hip area and so it kind of raises the hem a little bit more. Um, but a lot of you said after seeing the pink version that you thought it should be knee length. So that's what I did to this one. But now I think it's too long. I'm losing most of my body's shape in this dress as it is, being as that it's kind of like an A-line baby doll dress. I have no waist in this at all. And so when it's also this long and I'm losing like a leg and, you know, a knee and a thigh, it's starting to look a little frumpier or maybe more like a nightgown. I think if I were to shorten it just by like three inches or so to where it hits at my low thigh, it will be the perfect Goldilocks length for an A-line dress like this one for me. Uh, but other than that, uh, I think I got the bodice to fit pretty well. There's a teeny bit of gaping at the center front where those panels overlap. But I actually think that that's a sewing error and not actually a fitting pattern error. But be sure to check the description box to get the links to the previous videos that I have posted about this specific sewing pattern. It will really help you kind of understand the journey <laughs> that we've been on and also the progression of making a wearable muslin, fixing it, fixing the pattern based on things that you notice in that muslin, and then making your final version. Um, it's been really fun to work so hard on a basic design to get it to fit perfectly. All right, that's going to do it for me today. Please let me know what you think of this new version of Simplicity 2147. And if you have any thoughts or comments about the length, please let me know those as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.